for you, part two. There's so much in the pronouns, so much theology is in the pronouns. In fact, I'd like you to read when you're reading the Psalms today to put the emphasis on the pronouns. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He leads me to the still waters. You, your rod and your staff, they guide me. So, but, but see what happens when you, when you put the emphasis on the pronouns. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. It's an amazing thing what happens. And so it is with the for you. When, when Jesus comes along, he claims us. In fact, I, I love this. Whenever Jesus talks about his church, he puts that little pronoun, my, in front of it. I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Or uh, coming up this week, my sheep hear my voice. Woo! So that we're his, we belong to him. We're the Lord's. And he gives himself to us. For who? The gospel, the forgiveness of sins, the goodness of God, the Holy Spirit. For who? Jesus says, for you. For you. God be praised. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.